Hello, hello everybody, it is Codextral, and today we're going to be talking about the Black Ops 4, and particularly if you have any problems such as connectivity issues, if you're lagging all over the place, we just want to make sure that you have a smooth transition into the new Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Even though that this is beta, uh, I'm going to have tutorials on it here for you, and when the official game is released, I'm pretty sure the settings are similar, going to be the same design. But um, and overall, in general, just having to make sure that when the official game does get released, you will have a good mindset of what you need to do um, if the settings has ever changed on you. So before we continue, I would like for you guys to do me this one big, huge, solid favor is to go ahead and subscribe towards the channel, hit the post notifications whenever I live stream or upload videos, you'll be notified. Now, if I do live stream, feel free to come through and ask me some questions if you are uh, concerned about something or just come watch me play video games. Either or, that's what I'm here for. So, uh, and I do have youtube.com slash codectual games and twitch.tv slash codectual. So I stream on those channels as well. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So this will apply to all you PS4 users, all you PC users, and Xbox users. So it's all going to be the same. Now as if we were to go towards the menu, and if we go towards the graphics, now this is something that would show more of the options here in the future, especially for all you PC users, and this is something that you need to mess around with. Now I'm just letting you know that if VSync is on, go ahead and turn that off. Now if you are having um, terrors going through the screen and whatnot, then turn VSync back on. So this will definitely show more um, settings here. So even though that this is console, I just want to give a brief touchdown for all you PC users is to make sure you mess around with your settings uh, and optimize with their graphics card. So, and make sure you check on your requirements, see if your graphics card and just PC rig um, fits it. So as for the whole network, now this applies with every platform, PC, PS4 and Xbox. So let's go towards our network. So, um, as it says NAT type, it says open, and that's what we want. And the bandwidth, bandwidth right here is, uh, it's just a very simple test of a download speed. So yours can be a little bit lower or greater. But what you want is if you have lower than 2,000, that is 2 megabytes per second, then you're going to have a little bit of a problem because games like this require anywhere between 3 and 6, maybe 7 megs. Uh, especially if it's like a 4K type of game um, and it's rendering all of that power. So you want to make sure that you have a good download speed. And obviously mine is wired, so always have a good wired connection. If not, uh, mess around with the Wi-Fi settings and we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi in this video and how to tweak those settings. So what can we do on our computer, Xbox, or even PS4? So in my previous videos, I've touched on this on multiple games, on multiple platforms, is to, we're going to change the DNS settings. So if you want to check out my other video, it talks about how to get a faster download speed on the Xbox, how to get a download faster speed on the PS4 and PC. I would show um, this, however, I'm just trying to keep my exact location um, hidden, and it shows my IP and my uh, router IP that it assigned me with. You can also have meter connection on, so you can see what how, what's your ping. The lower the ping, the better. So it might say milliseconds or something like that. Um, so lower the ping, the better, and let's go ahead and back out. So now you have like your meter on. So when you enter in the game, you'll see um, if you lost any packets, if you um, have a low latency, aka ping, um, or milliseconds, so that's good. So what we want to do is go towards our PlayStation, and yes, I'm going to demonstrate on the PC and Xbox, so not only just PS4 is showing you guys. So what we want to do is go towards our settings, and we're going to go towards network, and we're gonna set up a internet connection. Um, actually, before we do that, I just want to validate to you guys that you see the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. Um, these are Xfinity's DNSs, it's defaultly in. So what I wanna do is I wanna change that. Now, 
um, I will have DNSs here in the States and for people who are in other countries so you guys know what to do if you're in a different uh, country and you'll be supplied with the numbers and whatnot. So the primary DNS and the secondary DNS, what I want to do is change that to a Cloudflare or a Google server. Now you're wondering, why are we changing our DNS? What's a Cloudflare or how do we even connect to a Google server? So DNS is a domain name server or services and they will help allocate the bandwidth and resort to minimizing by expanding out to different servers. So for example, um, from point A, point B, point C, and point D, um, those are the default DNSs that we're currently on, for example. So changing to a different DNS, it will cut that. So instead of from A, B, C, and D, as each letter represents um, a hop, or a aggregator or another server that we have to route through. If we change our DNS, it will cut that in half. So it'll just go from A to B, A to B, A to B, or maybe A, B, C, because we want to cut out that extra server that we don't have to route. And that makes it a faster download. Get what I mean? Awesome. So you want to go towards like your setup internet connection. Uh, if you're using Wi-Fi or a LAN cable, select the, which one that you are utilizing. And what we want to do is hit custom and we're going to go to automatic, do not specify, then manual. Then I'm going to be changing these numbers to 1.1.1.1. 1 .1 and I'm going to be changing this to 1.0.0.1. So those are the Cloudflare DNS. Now Google's DNS is 8.8.8.8. .8 then the secondary is 8.8.4.4. So again, I will keep a list of good DNSs in the description below. So you guys will be able to know what to do. Now let's go ahead and move on the Xbox and I'm just going to do a quick 30 second, 60 second. I'll show you how to change the DNS. It's quite simple. And we're going to do it on the PC as well. And we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi for all you Wi-Fi users. So just pay attention to the entire video. I do recommend it. And I know I've made videos about this, about Fortnite and other games. There's people that need to be educated. And I know that this is kind of recycled content, but um, I just want to make sure that everybody has a good, fair game. So let's go ahead and move on towards the Xbox. Then we're going to move towards the PC. Alrighty, for all you Xbox users, you're going to hit the guide button and move over to the settings, hit the settings. And what we're going to do is go down to network, the network settings. And we're going to go towards the advanced settings. And where it says DNS settings, right there is what we want to switch it up. And we're going to change the towards manual. And you know, 1.1.1.1 and 0, 0.0 or 1.0.0.1. .1. So again, check the descriptions. So I also wanted to make note about port forwarding. So we're going to talk about that as well. So you want to make sure you grab your IPv4 where it says IP address 10.0.0.117. Yours might say, 192.168.0.1. So whatever your console IP address is, make sure you write that down. And as it says for the gateway, it says 10.0.0.1, that's mine. Um, and you also want to make sure like, write down the gateway. Yours will not, or yours will match the 10.0.0.1, or it could say 192.168.0.1, something of that matter. So uh, make sure that you grab that as well. And um, especially if you're on the PS4 and we were selecting on the view connection. So let's go ahead and hop on the computer. And if you don't have a computer, that's fine, but you will need to use a mobile device. How else are you watching my video right now? So get your mobile device ready and uh, I'm gonna show you some stuff. As well, talking about Wi-Fi. Okay, as we are currently on the computer, right now I'm just letting you guys know that this is the Black Ops 3. Now I'm just giving this for a short demonstration for when Black Ops 4 does come out for the computer. This is where 
similarly where you guys want to change the settings. So do you have a 60 hertz frames or a frame per second monitor? Awesome, then keep it at 60 frames. If not, then just use it at 30 frames. Uh, you want to go towards the advanced. Also, before we go to the advanced, if, when there's the advanced tab, make sure you always have your display mode on full because if you were to have it boxed with, if you keep it at windowed, then there's a lot of limitation and it's wasting resources. So you wanna make sure you always wanna have it full screen. Then you're gonna click on the advanced tab and are you gonna have it at high texture, extra, can your graphics card handle that? So just mess around with these settings right here. So I just wanna give a touch of um, talk about for all you PC users. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about um, with the port forwarding, what I wanted to get at. So if you have a NAT issue, and let's talk about Wi-Fi as well. Do you remember the gateway IP that I told you to wrote down? So what you wanna do is you're gonna open up your web browser and you're gonna type in your gateway IP. So it's gonna be, so whatever it was, go ahead and type that into the browser and we can go ahead and hit enter. Let me move this over towards the right. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter. I'm just gonna center out some stuff. So this is where yours may not look like this. If you have a Linksys or a Netgear, um, I have videos made about how to log in and how to do all these settings, how to port forward or how to change an IP and whatnot. So if you have like a Netgear or Linksys or anything like that, check the description down below uh, for that video. So, and if you don't know what your username and password is, check at the bottom of your modem slash router and it'll say administrator username and administrator password or something of that sort and just plug that in right here. So let me go ahead and log into this and go towards the page where we need to go towards to. Okay, so this is the page where we want and right here is we're going to port forward. So whatever your console IP was, you're gonna enter in that value number in here. So my, my Xbox or, you know, even for my PS4, it was 10.0.0.117 or something like that. Whatever your console IP was, make sure it is in here. Now you wanna give it a name. So for example, if you're an Xbox or PS4 or you're in a PC user, just go ahead and type that in. What if I'm on the PC? How do I find out my um, IP address for my PC? Well, go ahead and open up command prompt, type in IP config, and just look for your IPv4 settings, and there you go. And uh, that's, that's, uh, that's simple. And I will have the ports in the description so you guys know um, what to open up and what not to open up. So just be aware for the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 ports, the Xbox ports if you have an Xbox, or the PS4 ports if you have a PS4, or just the Black Ops ports if you're just on the PC, since you know, you're on PC, you don't need to worry about Xbox or PS4. So there's that. Let's go ahead and talk about Wi-Fi now. Okay, so this is very important for all you Wi-Fi users, and it's time to get educated on why Wi-Fi sucks. I know it's convenient for you guys, but Wi-Fi is truly be, truly be, my words are truly be terrible. <laughs> so let's, uh, get down to the business. So right here is a perfect illustration. And so here is co-channels. Every client and access point on the same channel complete for talk, time to talk. So what this means is all the, this is just one Wi-Fi. So there's no other routers slash Wi-Fi routers that are interfering. Now, if we look into the middle here you see there's a, a router another router and another router that is overlapping each other now each client and access point on overlapping channels talks over to each other so what that means is it's creating a interference so if you have this router right next to this router right next to this router or just these two routers and they're on the same channel so this is channel four five and six but however the neighbors that you may have, especially if you're in an apartment complex area, oh, that's that's bad. That's really bad because everybody has Wi-Fi in their apartments. Now, what manufacturers do, that they standardize these channels with one, six, or 11. And that's just the default method that it comes with. So 
what we want to do is change the Wi-Fi channel. But let's talk a little bit about more about this. So let's just say this: all these all these three routers are on channel four. So don't mind the numbers; they're all on channel four. That's really bad. If they're all on channel four, they're sending the same wavelengths, the same frequency, and it just creates this whole jumble, and it's just not sending the signal through from your cell phone that um, you're connected to the Wi-Fi or the laptop, and you're just getting buffering or you're getting slow speed or a high ping. So what you want to do is change it towards a different channel. Now, I'm going to show you how to change it towards a different channel. Also, what we want to look at is this is non Wi-Fi, but microwaves, you know, they carry frequency, radio waves, analog cameras, cordless phones. If you keep it right next to a refrigerator, uh, keep it away from that. Additionally, if you're if your Wi-Fi is in the basement and you're all the way upstairs, uh, I mean, it's common sense to keep it out of your basement. Because, for example, if you walk into a Sam's Club or a Costco or some type of warehouse or even a Walmart, you start to see your cell phone signal deplete, decrease the signal. It's kind of that concept. So you want to keep Wi-Fi in a centralized area where it can broadcast out to all four, corner, four corners of the home. So right here, um, on your on your router slash modem, what you want need to do is go to your Wi-Fi area, you know, where you can change the, the network name, the Wi-Fi name or the SSID. You don't have to change that, but what you need to do is change the channel. So again, you are on channel one, six or 11. Now, if you are having any problems, change it to anywhere between two and 10, but don't change it, don't change it to six. So, and see what that does for you. Go to speedtest.net and see if your download speed is start going a bit better for you. Okay. So that's what I have to talk about Wi-Fi. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. Um, again, I'll put all resources down in the description below so you guys can be well informed. And I hope you, you guys have awesome gameplay with the new Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, I'll be making other videos, recycled content like this for other gameplays that's coming out there because I want everyone to be educated. And I know that this is recycled content. I do apologize for that. But um, this is something for people who are new and don't know so i hope you guys take care again subscribe to the channel like share the video on all of your social media whenever i do go live feel free to say hello or you know uh, ask me some nerdy questions that um you want to be answered so um yeah i hope you guys take care and i will see you around what's up yeah i'm back on my shit again chasing benjamins run it till the very end yeah Every day I'm feeling great, better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting.